Hello, folks, and thank you again for joining us uh, in this uh, series on converging lenses. So previously, we introduced thin lens terminology. Then we analyzed the image of an object sitting outside the focal point using two techniques, ray tracing and thin lens equation. We did the same, but now the object is inside the focal point. So we looked at what kind of image we get, again, using these two techniques, and then we did exercises. And now this video is also about exercises. So before we begin, please like, uh, subscribe, hit that, no hit that notification button, and uh, share on your social media, your friends, and please comment and provide us with your um, opinion on, on this series, or especially on this video. And let's begin. So here we have an object produces a virtual image 16 centimeters away from it and to its left. So a good um, approach is to maybe just draw a little representative picture. So here's the converging lens. Here's object, we'll call it O. And the image is virtual and it's to its left. Let me, no, no, is it? dashed line. Here's the image. But they're 16 centimeters apart. The object is 8 centimeters away. So the distance image to the lens is 24 centimeters, right? 8 plus 16 is 24. What's the power of the lens and the magnification? So um, the power once we compute that, we compute the focal length. Or once we compute the focal length, we compute the power, basically. So to get the power, we need the focal length. And now since the image is virtual, again, from the second video or the third video in the series, actually, when the object was inside the focal point, we got a virtual image to its left. So the focal point is going to be here somewhere. Okay? So we expect it to be between O and I. So that's a good way to check on the focal length whenever we get the answer. So let's go ahead and begin. So we know the distance to the image. Here is what's given. Distance to the image is, again, from here, just from the geometry, we measure 24 centimeters. But it's actually, in lens notation, lens terminology, is negative 24 centimeters. Because it's virtual, meaning it's to the light side of the image, just where the light comes in, or the same side as the object, in this case, right here, okay? Distance to the object is eight centimeters. So what is the focal length? And from there, we get the power, and then we get the magnification after that. So let's go ahead and do it. So here's the, we're looking for F, so one over F. There's one over DO plus one over DI. All right. So one over F, get a common denominator here, DO times DI on top DI plus DO. All right. And flip them to get F. So F is DO times DI over DO. I'm going to squeeze it here. Let's move it up. Right here, F equals when I flip DO times DI over DO plus DI. All right, let's plug them in now. DO is 8. DI is negative 24. Don't multiply yet. 8 minus 24. Okay. So here's 8. Here's negative 24. 8 minus 24 is negative 16. So we can cancel, maybe divide this by that, and get a 2 here and a 1, and the, this, and that will give me a 12 and a 2. The minus is canceled. So all I'm left with is a plus 12, 12 centimeters. So the focal length is 12 centimeters. Okay. So this is great. From that, we can get the power. 
but uh, let's, uh, this is in centimeters. Let's put it in meters because whenever we compute power in diopters, F has to be in meters. So that's 12 over 100 meters. Simplify a little bit, divide by four, top and bottom. That's three over 25 meters. Okay. Three over 25. All right. So now we can go ahead and compute the uh, power. So P is one over F in meters. It's one over three over 25, which is 25 over three. Okay. That is the power in diopters, which is basically 8.33 repeating diopters. That's the power. Magnification is negative di over do. But di was negative 24, so it's negative, negative 24 over 3, d, uh, 8. Uh, do is 8. So uh, the negatives give me a plus 3. So it's a magnification of 3, right? So let's see what we have here in terms of ray tracing. So here's our, the representation. Uh, here's the object at 8. We put the focal point at 12. And let's see if we get an object at 24. So first ray is the blue ray. Parallel goes through the focal length, extends back that way. The second ray is the green one from the tip, goes through the center, goes unimpeded. The orange one appears as if it's coming from the focus, exits parallel. They don't meet on this side. They meet on this side. So we trace them back. We trace the orange, the green, the blue, and they meet over here. And this has a height of six, which is three times two. I drew here the object as two, right? So it's three times. And if this is 12, that's 24. Okay, and that's um, that seems to be correct. So this is this is this problem again. Ray tracing confirms thin lens equation. All right, let's look at the this problem. <clears throat> so um, we have an object two centimeters tall and twelve centimeters from a converging lens produces a real image that's six centimeters tall. So right away, we know the magnification because HO is two centimeters, HI is negative six centimeters. Why is it negative? Because, again, this goes back to the first video where we talked about thin lens equation and terminology. Uh, anything pointing up is positive, anything pointing down is negative. If this is a real object, which is an object pointing up, if this is a real image, it's going to be pointing down. If this is the scenario, which is because the object is uh, 12 centimeters away. Okay. So Real image pointing down, it's negative six. Huh? And now since it produced a real image, we know the focal length is going to be inside the 12 centimeters. Okay? Inside the 12 centimeters. So when we get the answer, you know, that's like a confirmation. In the previous problem, the object was at eight. The focal length was at 12. So the object was inside the focal uh, point and produces a virtual image. That was the confirmation. And we did it also with ray tracing. Same thing here. So let's go ahead and do this. So uh, we're looking for the power, which means, again, we need F. We have DO. This is what's given also. Equals 12 centimeters. We don't know what DI is. 
We don't know what F is. Which from that we get the power. But you know the magnification is negative di over do, which is um, hi over ho. Now di is real, so we expect di to be positive. So let's see if we get that. So let's solve for di from here. So again, we cross multiply and we move the negative over. di equals negative do times hi over ho. And let's go ahead and plug in. Here's di, here's the negative. do is 12 times hi is negative 6 over HO is 2. The negatives give me a positive and um, 6 over 2 is 3. 3 times 12 is 36. So it is 36 centimeters plus, which is great. It's plus means it's real. So now that we know di and do, let's go ahead and get f. So 1 over f equals 1 over di plus 1 over do. Common denominator. I flip them. And let's plug numbers in. F equals di is 12. Uh, do is 12. Di is 36 times 12. 36 plus 12. So 36 times 12 over 48. So 12 and 48. Uh, let's divide by uh, 4. Okay. So here's 1. Here's 4. Okay. Uh, sorry. Divide by... Let me see. 12. Yeah, we'll get a 4 in the denominator by 12. And 36 over 4 is 9 centimeters. So... F is nine centimeters, which is inside the 12 centimeters for the uh, object, which is great. So DI confirmed that it's real. F is inside the 12 centimeter, excellent. Now, which is basically nine over a hundred meters because now we're gonna compute the power. So P is one over F and F has to be in meters. So 1 over um, 9 over 100, which is 100 over 9, right? Denominator that has a fraction. The fraction gets flipped. Okay? And if we do 100 over 9, we basically get 11.11 11, uh, repeating. Okay? So this is 11.11 11 diopters. And a plus because it's a converging lens. Okay. And where is the image located? Where he did that actually. So di is at 36 centimeters. Okay. We needed that anyways to compute the focal length, to compute the power. So let's look now at the image, at the uh, ray tracing. Again, here, every unit here is three. So the focal length is at nine, the object is at 12 and say, okay, where would my image be if this was the case? And it turned out to be at 36 right here. If we count these 12 squares at 36, down, okay, and six units, if we start with two. So again, the first ray is the blue ray. Parallel goes through the focal length. And then uh, the green ray, through the center, 
I'm deflected. The orange ray through the focal point comes out parallel. And they all meet where the object is. All right? So this is a confirmation of what we did. So again, in the next video, what I would like to do is, instead of working out exercises, I'm gonna do more virtual exercises. There's a website that I would like to um, uh, use to basically let you play, show you how to play with lenses and objects so that you could, um, you could uh, basically get a feel for this. And we'll do it for the converging lens. We'll also do it for the diverging lens. And eventually we'll do it for the converging, I mean, for the um, convex and concave mirrors and flat mirror. All right. So this will be like the culmination of the, you know, problem and solution videos it will be a lab, a little virtual lab. So that will be coming next, um, uh, you know, uh, soon. Um, so anyways, thank you. I hope this was helpful to you. Please, again, uh, let us know in the comment section what you think. Um, and hope to see you in the next uh, set of videos. Good night.